Well, do you remember last Monday's video on Wish.com? Well. So due to the length of uh, this video, I had to break it up in two, right? So this is uh, part two of uh, the mail call from Wish.com. Actually, this one has several items in it. Oh wow, coupon with a code from Wish for 15% off. All right, better put that aside just in case. <laughs> oh wow, I put more of these little bags. Did I bring my scissors? Okay, good lord. I meant to have all this stuff already semi-open so we could look at it together. Say what this is. Nope. Cut a little bit deeper. But the writing on here does look like it's from uh, China. And I'm not cutting in the right place, obviously. I hope I don't cut up whatever is in here. Come on. Oh. Okay. Looks like some very big O-rings, but there's something else inside here. I don't know if you can see this, but it's very, very tiny. So what you do, this is actually a little plastic hook. I apologize for trying to, for a bad focus on this thing, but you use these rubber bands to put around your rod down on the near where your reel is as a hook keeper in case your rod does not have one. And I have uh, some rods that do not have them. In fact, I uh, found some of these things over at uh, Academy for almost maybe over three bucks, three to four bucks each. And it looks like I'm getting one, two, three, four or five of them in here for like a dollar. So um, <clears throat> this will be, uh, I think this was worth it. Five for a buck plus another dollar for shipping. Well, I don't know. But yeah, a dollar for shipping, so that was worth it. What does this say? It doesn't say anything. Oh, life jacket. <laughs> Too small to be a life jacket, right? What's in here? I thought there's only like two items in this bag. Oh, 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 oh. This is one of these weird, crazy things. In fact, um, Sanko Skipper did a review on this. He does a lot of uh, inshore, um, offshore type of stuff, but he said it could also be used for catfishing. And this is a weird Japanese thing. Um, you put your bait attractant inside here and on your little hooks here and then you know just throw it out and play the waiting game so um, you know then you could attach that this thing on here and when you get a bite and this thing goes off time to reel this thing in right so this is interesting and it worked for him I think I got this for a dollar, plus a dollar shipping. Okay, what else? To be honest with you, I expected uh, to do two mail calls with, with Wish, but it uh, looks like I, I ordered 20 items. I, I lost count, but uh, who knows, there may be another uh, mail call for Wish. This looks like a um, 
a dollar. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's not called a jitterbug. Hedden used to have a, uh, you know, the old, old time lure, Hedden. Used to have a, um, a lure like this. Forgot what it was called. Something bug, I think. Not jitterbug, but uh, um, something crawler. I can't remember. But it has these little wing things. It's a top water, so when it goes through the water, it makes a wake and uh, attracts the fish. But this is uh, a golden and red. Ugh, I don't want to poke myself in color. Now, I really totally forgot the name of this for those who are into their antique uh, baits from Hedden. Uh, let me know. Um, I mean, I made a display of them too, and I just forgot. It's something bug maybe, or crazy, crazy crawler? I think it's crazy crawler. Okay, I think that's what it is. So obviously it's not a Hedden. It's just a cheap um, Chinese knockoff. Uh, what's in here? What does it say it is? Shrimp baits. So I think it's might be like a shrimp lure. Yeah, it is. You should be able to see it through the box. So it's kind of green. And I think uh, they want you to do it like a, I don't know where you can see this little drawing here, but kind of like a drop shot. And uh, I would probably use this for inshore. Like that one area I showed you on that nature video that I went to near the beach. That's where I would probably use this. And that was a dollar, plus a dollar shipping. Oh, what's this? It just says bait. We don't know what kind. Just says bait. Oh, <laughs> Alabama rig, okay, and we all know how much those Alabama rigs have been, um, the cost of those like at Academy or wherever, but it looks like it's not all that springy, you have to spring it out yourself, but that's it for a dollar, um, a little bit of modification and not too bad, I don't know how well it's gonna hold up, but we'll see, okay? Um, so, little Alabama rig for a dollar and a dollar shipping. Okay, another one. Um, artificial fishing bait, that's all it says. Oh, <laughs> this is a gag gift, okay? I don't want to talk too much about it. It's going to be for a, a lady friend as a joke. And yeah, she can handle this. Um, I'm just going to quickly show it to you and um, you'll get the idea. I don't really want to talk about it. Let's see if I can get it to focus. You know, it is a spoon, but it's a spoon in a weird shape okay I'm just gonna say that <laughs> again it's a gag gift for a lady friend I think those were like a, a dollar each plus a dollar shipping this is the last one oh okay what does it say here fishing hook. These aren't fishing hooks. What they are, um, and here's the reason I bought them. It's Velcro, okay? And I have a lot of travel rods, and I can use this to um, keep my rods together, because I got a lot of travel rods that uh, um, look a lot alike, and I'm trying to figure out 
Okay, here we go. And we can tie the uh, travel rods together. And you know, there's a lot of folks who have like two piece rods and that would be good to keep them tied together in case you have a few that look alike but they're not alike because one set of rods is a medium heavy and one is a uh, fast action and you know, you kind of, but all the blanks look black, right? So uh, we need to uh, try to keep them together the best we can so we don't get confused in our head what is what. I think this is like a, I don't know how many are in here, but uh, this does give me an idea for a uh, Thursday's tips and tricks and review because um, I have one solution already, which I'll show you in the future. So, you know what? I'm not quite sure. Is that 20 items? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I may have uh, 15, I counted those, 15 of 16. I may have four more items to go, I don't know. Um, maybe some of those items uh, should be counted twice, I don't know. But um, that's it for mail call um, from wish.com. And I um, was talking to my lady friend, Laura, who uh, <laughs> might get one of these things, okay? <laughs> Uh -oh, dropping things here. Um, I told her about what I did, and then she brought out all this kind of jewelry and stuff, and, and she told me the same thing Sanko Skipper told her, you know, I buy all this cheap jewelry, I really want the stones, the necklaces are really cheap, and I just try to give them away to my friends, daughters, or whatever, but it's like she said, uh, just like, she also said like Sanko, Sanko Skipper said, it's like uh, getting a little, birthday surprise or surprise gift once or twice a week but she's into jewelry and I looked it up yeah it's some pretty cheap stuff but I'll let you guys be the judge for the items that I purchased was it worth a dollar and a dollar um, shipping I mean I think probably so um, when you try to compare this with some of the, the pricing that you'd see for like items at Academy Bass Pro Shop or wherever and um, but anyway Guys, I think that's it for now. Um, until next time, be safe out there and take care. Francis Kiefel and I approved this video.